Today, we invited James Wayne from Exclaimer, who created an add-in for Signature, and I will let him share a more interesting demo about all this. So, so James, if you're ready, please feel free to start presenting. Well, thank you, Juan. Um, let me first start by saying what a pleasure it is to be invited to uh, speak to you all today. We're very grateful for the opportunity. These are exciting times, and uh, my job today is to talk to you all about our new email signature add-in uh, for our product, Exclaimer Cloud. But before we get into that, let me first introduce myself and the colleagues that I'm joined by. My name is James, and I am the head of product specialists here at Exclaimer. But I'm also uh, joined by my colleague, Phil Vetter, who is the head of our development team. Uh, a little bit of information about Exclaimer if you are unaware of who we are. Um, we are a SaaS solution provider primarily. We sell uh, email signature management solutions. Um, we have uh, organizations around the world, as I'll get to in just a moment, that make use of our software to help manage their email signatures, make it far easier to do so. But the thing that I am here to talk to you about today is our new email signature add-in that we announced uh, on the same day that uh, you announced the general availability of uh, event-based activation. Uh, so uh, we were right in tandem there. Uh, we've been very fortunate to work quite closely here to uh, make this a reality. So what I'd like to talk about today is just a little bit about who we are to give you some context. Uh, the customer pain points uh, that we identified, and, and we've done that uh, very early on, really. We, we had a previous way of uh, handling email signatures within uh, the various Outlook clients, but there were some pain points regarding that, uh, and I was talking about what those were. How we overcame those obstacles with the add-in, what that has allowed us to do. Phil will speak a little bit about the development journey, and then I do intend to show you a live uh, demonstration of uh, uh, of what that add-in uh, looks like in practice. So as I said, let's start by looking at us just for a little bit more uh, time. We are, uh, Exclaimer, the category leader for email signature management solutions. Um, we have been around for now uh, about uh, 20 years in the market. So we do consider ourselves to be uh, experts in the email signature space. It's what we live and breathe every day. And we now provide a solution, an email signature solution, to over 40,000 customers, many of whom are enterprise, enterprise size uh, in the sort of tens of thousands of users. We have offices uh, around the world. Uh, our principal one is in the UK. That's in uh, our Farnborough main office. But we also have offices uh, in Miami uh, and as well in the Netherlands. Uh, and we are uh, growing. So that is uh, good news. Our principal product is a product called Exclaimer Cloud that can actually be used to manage signatures both for Microsoft 365, but as well uh, local Exchange 2. And what the solution really tries to deliver, the value of it for our customers, uh, really regard these three points primarily. Uh, delivering a state of consistency where the email signature is concerned, really guaranteeing that the email signatures that the organization wants users to use are used, and actually accomplish this across all of the email clients and devices that they use. Make it far easier, more straightforward, quick, and easy to actually uh, design those signatures and manage them day to day, make changes on the fly, really use the email signature as a communications channel. Certainly part of our responsibility is making it so easy to update email signatures that anyone can be capable of doing so. And then finally, if there are pieces of compliance that need to be considered, uh, making sure that those are always in place too. So if we turn our attention to some of those pain points we've been able to address with this add-in. We had previous ways of delivering email signatures to the Outlook client, but there were definitely uh, some pain points associated with that previous method. For a start, it involved a locally installed agent, which of course is more difficult to uh, deploy. It was deployed traditionally using uh, GPO or Intune, and that posed challenges, especially to 
remote users. It just generated uh, for uh, our customers more overhead where the ITT department was concerned and making sure that that agent that was required to deliver signatures was in place. And we wanted an easier way uh, that we could offer. And then as well, uh, there was the experience of the end user to consider. Uh, we couldn't provide a, a visual preview right when the selection of the signature took place. Uh, we couldn't offer multiple signatures in Outlook for the web. Uh, and that meant very much a different experience in desktop Outlook, the local Outlook client and the web Outlook client. And as well, uh, because of the way that behaved, signatures were only updated every 60 minutes. There was a long period of time in between each update. Thankfully, the add-in has allowed us to overcome several of these challenges. Uh, certainly, now we have ease of deployment because that can all be managed from the admin portal. As well, uh, the add-in, of course, will be automatically upgraded without any action. There's no upgrades to concern themselves with our customers. Uh, we can ensure a reliable signature insertion now. In fact, we can as well override existing user-defined signatures, support all platforms. And something really important to Exclaimer is really that we do things properly where authentication and security uh, is concerned. And now we've got this fantastic way of ensuring we can offer these extra features functionality whilst not compromising in that regard, which is which is just great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass over now to uh, Philip Vetter, who is our head of development, and he's going to talk to you about the journey we took to reach this add-in. Uh, thank you, James. So start, I'll start with I'd like to talk about really where we come from. So we've been producing client-side admins that have been able to update Outlook signatures for over 10 years now. And that agent, it works well, but it requires you to us to go into the file system to match the formats used by Outlook, to manipulate the registry, and really to force Outlook to do something it didn't really want to do. From the install front, it required an app, the agent to run on the machine, so that's to install via GPO, or a user interaction for that first install via click once. We've looked at add-ins a number of times over the years, and up until this point, we couldn't really achieve that seamless hands-off signature insertion we wanted, because what we're really after is the user doesn't have to do anything to get a signature. They're just there. They appear, they work. And really, they can just install it, use it, and forget about it. And everything they want just happens. So if we, if we move on to why this is now different, so in the form of the signature APIs and the event-based add-ins, Microsoft have given us the ability to reliably insert signatures. They've given us the ability to have an add-in that works across all platforms. So, as James alluded to a minute ago, we have solutions for Outlook for Mac, we have solutions for Outlook for Windows Desktop, and we have the solutions for Outlook Web. But they are different solutions for each platform. This enables us to create a single user experience, a single solution that works across all the platforms and will be there available when Microsoft make it's available on that platform. One of the other challenges we have with the add-ins previously is guaranteeing that signature will be inserted. So with a new on-compose event, we can automatically insert that signature into the email so the user's not having to make a conscious choice about inserting the signature. And we can also override the user's existing signature. So particularly on Outlook Web, if the user's been in and created their own signature, this then allows us to enforce corporate signatures across all platforms. And really continuing the theme of making sure that the user has to interact with this as little as possible and it just works for them, the ability for, to use the SSO that's built into Outlook, that's built into Outlook Web, you just sign them automatically into the add-ins to, to see their 
signatures automatically and automatically insert them removes another pain point. And finally, and really this, this is the one that helped to convince us that this was the right way to go. Microsoft had given us a clear development path with the on recipient change events and other events they're bringing into this add-in model that allows us to expand the functionality in parallel with Microsoft as we make these available to us. And really finally, the preview program that Microsoft have run allowed us to work with the preview APIs to be able to produce this add-in so that when, when Microsoft were ready to go to market with it, we were there side by side and could release simultaneously. So with that, I'm going to hand back to James and he will give you a nice demonstration. Thank you very much, Phil. Um, so yes, it has become that time. Uh, we're going to look at how this all works. And to begin with, I'm just going to show you these three email signatures uh, and talk about the use case I'm going to suggest here. It's one we commonly encounter. Uh, here I have a default email signature for new emails. It's doing quite a lot. I'm really trying to make use of it as a communications channel with all manner of content within it. I've got a default signature for forwards and replies that uh, emits a lot of that content uh, as I begin to go back and forth. And as well, we have that signature for internal emails too um, that we're uh, for the time being, going to need to be able to select. So first, let's look at how that new email signature comes into play. Uh, we're here in the Outlook client. I'm going to click on new message here. The on compose event is going to trigger and that's going to result in my new email signature being added to the email. Nice and easy. If then we turn our attention to replies, same thing here. Uh, we're going to uh, look at a reply message uh, and I'm going to create my reply, wait for that on compose event to trigger, and now my reply signature will uh, take effect. And finally, if we look at that choice of signature, which many of our customers do value, being able to manually select a different signature if they have need to. Uh, the add-in improves this experience as well. Uh, I can simply go to the add-in below the, uh, the email as I compose. Uh, when I click this, it opens up the sidebar and in real time loads those signatures. I can see all of the signatures available to me here on the right, including that uh, new email signature and the forwards and reply. We can actually tell that these are our defaults by icons just above uh, to the top right. Here's the icon for my uh, new messages, which shows that's the default. And here we have an icon that shows here, this is the default for replies. What I'm gonna do is just click on this internal signature is not a default. Uh, and just by clicking on it, that gets inserted instead. And that is the add-in. Uh, and uh, we are very grateful for it. So I suppose then this is a good time to invite any questions if there are any. Yeah, we've got about, uh, we've got a few minutes for some questions. So just raise your hand if you have any questions for James or Philip or, or for anything that uh, Juan was presenting around the event-based add-ins. Uh, yeah, James, uh, Prashant here. So I have one question. So how can we manage this signature centrally? That's a great question. So uh, what I haven't previewed today is the portal experience that customers also have access to, where all the signature designs are created using our proprietary uh, signature designer tool. Uh, it's very intuitive. It makes creating signatures very, very easy. Again, we want non-IT professionals perhaps to be able to be successful at creating those signature designs themselves. And from there, signatures are established, set up so that they appear in this add-in and are applied by the add-in. It's worth noting there that you, you set up one signature centrally and then it, it merges your user details into that signature. So you're not managing signatures for everyone. You're managing a single signature and then that it is automatically populated with the user details. Thank you, James and Philip. Really appreciate you joining the call and sharing your experience and this add-in that you've built, which is really useful for folks. Take advantage of the 
uh, set signature in Outlook. Mm-hmm.